Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode here today for the final round of the 2026 Formula 1 season in season 4 of this career mode. The title is all wrapped up. There is still a battle going on for P2 in the driver's standings and also we are very close to our first Constructors World Championship if we can get this weekend. Bang on, we're 20 points behind Mercedes. Bit of housekeeping, a bit pointless for the final race but we are going to take a couple of new components going into the race so this is a grid then ahead of the final round of the season George Russell puts it on pole making it a great chance for him to finish P2 in the championship alongside Lando Norris then it's Pacher and Valtteri Bottas Verstappen and Yuki Tsunoda then it's both the Ferraris then it's both the Lamborghinis Piastri is ahead of us then it's both the Alpines then it's Hamilton and Fittipaldi Hauger and Lance Stroll Lawson and Logan Sun Sergeant Magnussen and Joe and on the final row of the grid is Nick DeFries and Alex Albon. Right mate, it's the final race of the season. There's nothing to lose here, so go out there and enjoy it. So as Mark said then there is nothing to lose. But we are still in the hunt for the Constructors World Championships with 20 points behind Mercedes. This so is our qualifying lap. It was good enough for Paul, but with those penalties we are down in P. 10, not right at the back like last time out in Portimao but the strategy wise I remember back to last season where we wanted to do medium hard and then we realised later, later on in that Grand Prix we could go soft medium so that's going to be our strategy this is it then we're racing for one final time in 2026 we've gone an okay start we've already passed a couple of cars we're ahead of Piastri we're ahead of the Alfa Romeo, we've gone side by side with the Ferraris into turn one, we've had a bit of a tank slap there but we're right behind the Ferraris as we head down towards the hairpin, we're going to sit the load up the inside, we're going to get both of the Ferraris there, we catch the front one that with a think that's Charles Leclerc but we're past both of them, next up though is the Red Bull of Max Verstappen, it's all going on is the Ferrari's going to get back at us? We're going to break later and we're going to carry the speed to go sailing around the outside of Max Verstappen. Catch him sleeping at the chicane. He left the door wide open and we've gone straight around the outside of it and through it. And now they're three wide just in front of us. The McLaren, the Aston Martin and the other Red Bull of Valtteri Bottas. We're trying to find any sort of way through. Here is Joe pushes the Aston Martin wide and we're gonna sneak up the inside. Great move there, Lando rather pushes the Aston Martin wide. It's been a poor start by Teo Pacher. And now we're on the back of Lando Norris. We've got good pace early on in this Grand Prix. These are on medium, so the race is gonna to come to them later on. We just need to use our our extra try grip early on in this Grand Prix as we're on the back now of Lando Norris. We can go inside outside, we're going to swap in the dummy and we're going to use the banking to go sailing around the outside of Lando Norris. He's still there but eventually he has to back out of it. And we're on the podium. I thought we could get after Bottas but we just couldn't get into his DRS and then ultimately as we make a mistake, we make a big mistake there going under the hotel. We light up the rear tyres. We've pushed very hard on these opening couple of laps. And the tyres have given up there and we've lost out to Lando. And then this is just allowing Bottas to pull away. I thought we were catching Bottas. We were just staying with him. But now it's got to, it's back to square one. And we've got to re-overtake the McLaren. Coming out though of the chicane we'll have DRS. And we are very close to the back of Lando Norris's McLaren here. As we're going to get closer and closer. We're going to go to the inside. We're going to do copy and pace of what we did a few laps ago. And retake P3 in this Grand Prix. Is Lando going to try and get back up the inside of us? No he's not. And now the tyres were starting to go off a little bit. Lap 6 as Lando goes down the inside. Bottas has disappeared. We've gone wide. And now Lando is back through. P3. 
trap and switch the logo and get exit off of the hairpin. Now it's a drag race down, but Lando has the DRS even with our overtake button. We can't do anything until the chair is sending it down the inside of us, trying to catch us up and there's nearly contact as he's like bouncing over the curb. We hold around the outside, we stay ahead of the chair, but we've lost out to Lando Norris. And we're going to try and do what we did multiple times already, but this time we're too far back on the McLaren. And Lando did get away. Those medium tyres coming into the groove now in this Grand Prix. We won't run wide, that's going to leave us defending. Pacher as we go through the opening couple of corners now. Max Verstappen, here we go in for P2 in the Drivers' Championship. He needs to get past both of us. As Pacher goes to the outside, we force him wide, but we lock up. He sends us the dummy and makes it look a bit stupid there. But now we're all over the back, and we need to be careful though because of Max Verstappen getting involved in this. But we're on the inside, Max is too far back. Pacher though is just ahead, but we're going to break later down the inside. Forcing out wide, really has to anchor up, and now that's going to leave him vulnerable to the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. Is Max going to get close enough here? He's right in the slipstream. He pulls out, and he's going to go round the outside of the Aston Martin. He's still there, but neither of them are giving up. But Max has his nose ahead and gets the place, and now he's all over the back of us. He's been fighting the Mercedes all season long in the championship. As it stands though, George is leading, looking to make it back-to-back -back wins as we defend down the inside to Max Verstappen. He's looking to make it back-to-back -back wins is George here in Abu Dhabi. And another Constructors World Championship for Mercedes. It's going their way as it stands at the minute. But Max really does need to overtake us here if he wants a chance. P2 in the drivers as Pacher tries to do what Max did to him. Round the outside, he's still there. And now he's got a grey run down the inside of us, catches us napping. But we defend him off, but he's re overtaking the Red Bull. So now in lap 11, Pacher on the back of us. As Max goes to the outside, we're going to be free wide heading down into the chicane. Neither of anyone giving up. We're going to back off though. As they're battling, forcing each other wide. We're going to do the up and under. Try and get the exit off of the chicane. We've got past the chair. And now can we wear the tank? Max is happening. A thousand IQ move that one. Let them fight. Let them battle each other and have to anchor up at the hairpin at the chicane. We can then get the exit, but we can't re-overtake Verstappen. He's got his bumper. We're going to send it late up the inside. Those in front, Lando and Bottas, have both gone. It's done it into a bit of a trilly train for us. Not as bad as it was back in Zandvoort. And they had literally the entire field behind us. And now lap 12 down the inside. It goes Pacher as, as he's got us there, but we are side by side, we're not giving up. The staff is now starting to drop back a little bit, but Pacher hasn't got the straight line of speed. We've got him. Max is coming under pressure from the Ferrari as Max sends it late down the inside on the Aston Martin. I think he's had to back out of that one, and he's lost out to the Ferrari. Now, though, as we go down the straight, here comes the Ferrari of, of Carlos Sainz, is he past the Aston Martin, he's on the outside, he's going round the outside of the Aston Martin, has he got the job done on the exit, yes, he has, it's a great move by Carlos Sainz, and Leclerc nearly has Max Verstappen there, but Verstappen keeps him behind, as now some drivers start to box, Max is in, so is the other um, Ferrari, and now this is then us. We're going to box at the end of the lap. We've run wide though, going through, the we dropped it, we've lost it back end. We're going to go spinning round, and Charles Leclerc goes into the side of us, and so does the Alfa Tauri of Yuki Sonoda. We've got some wing damage. Charles Leclerc is out of the Grand Prix and that has turned this race on its head. How things can change so quickly 
in a Formula 1 Grand Prix. The safety car is out, you can see it off the wing there, it is yellow. They're going to need a new one. This is a replay of what happened though, so they ran wide, took a big bit of curb and then just dropped it in the middle of the track and then just had really nowhere to go and then we're hit by Piastri. I don't know whether Piastri has damage in that as well. And so no, the hitters as well can start to get going. This is the car's point of view though, going around the corner. You can see us run by just up in the distance and then he goes around the corner and just has nowhere to go but into the side of us. I'm surprised if you don't have some sort of rear right suspension damage. This is Sykes though. Both of the Ferraris did stay out. This is Max Boxing. You see us run wide there and now Sykes has to really back out and he was very close to hitting us as well. As this is now Oscar Piastri's point of view. He's right on the back of Leclerc. So he was lucky. He gets caught and he does. He goes into the side of us. He had nowhere to go either. Now this is Sonoda's point of view. He hit us as well as he kind of goes spinning around into him. Sonoda doesn't really have anywhere to go. And literally by the end of the lap we really tried to be sneaky and get down the inside of Sonoda going into the pits but we were, the game weren't having that. We had to give the pace back but that's really turned this this race on its head basically everyone now is in the pits we've lost a lot of places after briefly fighting for the podium as as Piastri's in Piastri has a penalty as well they're changing his front wing and we've had to wait here and now we've got penalty for the for the crash with Leclerc now we're having to sit here you can see that the Williams Coming in and out, we're going to be stone dead last, and they haven't changed the front wing. Why are they okay, doing? Go, go, go. We've got a damaged front wing. We've come in, we've put on the mediums, but our front wing is yellow. There may not be visible damage. You can see it though from the MFD, and we've been sent out with a damaged front wing. What is going on here? It's all going very, very wrong. So we just backed off. Of course, I have it set to the game takes over when we had the safety car, so it was critical that we didn't catch the safety car. And now we're going to box again for them to hopefully change our front wing this time. As we're trundling down the pit lane, we're going to put on another set of mediums. We could have gone soft, but that would not have got us to the end. As we come into the pits now. And once again, they're not changing it. They're not changing the front wing. What are you doing? Okay, off we go. Back the, into the, the pit crew. Okay, what are you well doing? We you need a front wing. We're now stone dead last. And now we're just we're just going to have to carry on. We're just going to have to carry on with this front wing. Uh, maybe we've done one in, in practice or something and we can't. We haven't got a spare. But we're going to box, but we really, we caught the back of the safety car. I really, really tried to go as slow as I could, so we didn't catch the safety car queue. But we did, and now we're going to be left driving around with a damaged front wing. We're just going to have to live with it now. The pit crew are clearly not on the same planet as we are. But lap 16, we are going to... Safety car is going to come in and now we're just going to have to make do with this front wing. Hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, we've done an extra pit stop hoping they'd fix it and they haven't. So you can see it there, it is yellow, so it's quite bad. It's not like it's just off a of green. Okay, let's get ready to go but we're just going to have to live with it now. And let's see as we nearly hit the back of the horse. Horse. But one more chance this season, they haven't scored a single point, so they're going to need a miracle if they're going to get a point in this Grand Prix. Lap 16 though, there is a 13 laps to go, 12 once we cross the line to go racing again. And let's just see how far up we can go. We've got fresh mediums, 
Those in front are on the hards as we round the final corner. We're racing once again here in Abu Dhabi. We're going to go to the inside outside. We're going to swap the freeze the dummy. Next up is Albon. As the freeze tries to get back at the inside of us. That's not happening, happening at all. As now we hunt down the both of the Williams and the other half of Magnussen. There we go, we're side by side. We're going to send it late down the inside of Albon. Catch him napping. Now can we get the exit off of the chicane to get past Magnussen and Logan Sargent. We're alongside Magnussen just about. We're going to send it late down the inside of the bank corner on Logan Sargent. We've run wide though. We've come back onto the track. Sargent's tapped his round. We're out of control. And land and... Alex Albon has gone into the side of us. Now we don't have a front wing, but Alex Albon is out of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We don't have a front wing. What a dramatic couple of laps here in Abu Dhabi from fighting for a podium. It has all gone wrong for us here in Abu Dhabi. Thank God this didn't have luck. Happened last season when we were in that title decider, but. As we nearly go straight on at the final corner, going into the pits this time. You better change my front wing. We had to stop, completely stop, to avoid going over and getting another penalty in this race for speeding in the pit lane. And what a dramatic couple of laps that has been. But now, lap 18, we can now go back onto the soft, so that's what we're going to do. Finally, they changed the front wing. And now we should have the pace now to go and get some of these cars, hopefully. Fresh, soft tyres, a new front wing, everything's good, apart from the fact we're staying dead last. But as we come out of the pits now, let's just see what we can happen. It's damage limitation now. The constructors looks to be gone. This is a replay of what happened then. As we just run wide, we just get tapped round by Sergeant Manimura spinning out of control. And Alex Albon has absolutely nowhere to go but into the side of us. And then we get going again and then drive out into the pit. This is Logan Sargent's point of view. It's no, by no means not Logan Sargent's fault. It's clearly ours, we've cut him up. Cut him up. But as he goes sailing, Round the outside, that is us, and then we've come back across because I thought we had the job done and then we didn't. And sergeants have nowhere to go. This is Albon's point of view now. He's going round the bank corner. We're spinning round and then just has absolutely nowhere to go. And rips off his front right tire. Shocking for us we are having an absolute nightmare in the next couple of laps this is the freezer's point of view and in one minute there's a uh, williams in front of him and in the next minute there isn't and he's very lucky to not be caught up in that as well but we were that far back now though that the safety cars in there at the final corner we haven't even caught the safety car queue luckily we're not on the delta but we haven't caught the safety car key. We're going to have to do some monumental pace. But as we come out of the final corner, we're back racing. We haven't actually lost that much time. We're, what, about five odd seconds behind Nick De Freeze in the heart. And now, if we exclude everything that happened, it's basically back to square one of what it was before the crash with Albon. As we, of course, the Haas and the pack by the end of the lap we're past Nick De Freeze. Next up is Logan Sargent. This time can we keep it clean? Sargent defends the inside. Can we keep it clean this time? As we go into the final corner, we're gonna have the exit. We're gonna have the extra grip. That time it's clean. He's still on the inside of us though. This time we do give him the space and it's a finally a clean overtake on Logan Sargent. Next up though is, is Dennis Halgott. We overtook Kevin Magnussen in the process as well. 
is now we're on the back of the Alpha Tauri as we try and get the exit we have so much extra grip now over these hard tyre run runners we're past the Alpha Tauri we're now trying to get past Fittipaldi around the outside and down the inside we go on the Alpine and they're all battling behind us as we have got the job done on the next up now is the McLaren of Joe as we're a bit too far back to do anything there but we are going to set him up as we go sailing around the outside of course and napping at the chicane we're up now into P13 can we get points in this race as slowing down and is pulling over and out with just five laps to go it is Logan Sargent this race it hasn't been the greatest of seasons for Williams and it's ended in the worst case possible double DNF for Williams as now this is us on the back of, y of Yuki Sonoda and our teammate is battling Sonoda around the outside of both of them catching both napping what a move that is if I do say so myself we catch both of them napping and after the most dramatic race we've had on of this career mode we're still ahead of Oscar Piastri as Piastri gets the job done on Yuki Sonoda around the outside of the bank corner next up for us is Sir Lancelot can we get Lance Stroll on the final lap for one more for one point but Piastri is coming back at us we fend him off round the outside can we get Lance Stroll for the one final point of the Grand Prix we're hunting him down we're gonna get close but this man back up front George Russell makes it back to back wins in Abu Dhabi and wraps up P2 in the Drivers World Championship as we come in now to the final corner we couldn't quite get Lance Stroll so we're going to finish the final race of the season in P11 it's been a roller coaster season then but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today and talk to me what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So that's been your Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the final round of the 2026 Formula 1 season. What a season it has been as well. George Russell though wins the Grand Prix and wraps up P2 in the Drivers' World Championship. It's also a Red Bull 2 3 Max after really having to get stuck in in the early stages of the Grand Prix does come home for a P3 a horrible horrible race for us making contact with the Ferrari then making contact with Alex Albon both of them out of the race a very dramatic end to the season then it's another pointless day for us as well I believe it's the first time neither us or Piastri have scored points since Paul Ricard in France seems like a long time ago now that race does and there is three retirements Charles Leclerc and Alex Albon and also Logan Sargent as well disappointed end to the season for Williams and then the final then of the finishers was Nick De Vries in his Haas this is the final drivers world championships then we are world champions in 2026 by 64 
points. George Russell with that win wraps up P2 in the Drivers' Championship. And Lewis Hamilton, though Max got a podium, still takes P3 in the Drivers' World Championship. It was a great battle between Max and Mercedes all season long. The way they were changing positions, we were too far gone. We never really had to worry about that fight. Oscar Piastri finishing in P9. Piastri got 72 points and we got 273 points. 201 points off of us. So down at the back then you can see there was only two drivers who never scored a point. That was being the two horses. Logan Sargent getting one single point. But some standout performances of the season. Rookie Teo Pacher. Great season for him. Picking up a couple of podiums along the way as well. Outclassed his more experienced teammate Lance Stroll. So it's been a very, very good season for him I would say. In the constructors then Mercedes get us once again like last season. Mercedes are just too strong, too consistent and as I've been mentioned all season Long. we've been fighting the constructors one-handed because of how poor Piastri has been this season and I knew it was going to take it big so it big to win the constructors this season and we just haven't found it the turning point for me has to be Paul Ricard when Mercedes got that one two and we didn't pick up any points that weekend that was the turning point for me because before that when we had those five wins in a row we were so far gone ahead of the Mercedes and then as we mentioned Haas was the only team who never scored a point this season also Alpine what a horrible season they've had they had arguably the best car at the start of the season and then the DNF for Gasly in Australia as well and then he retired once again in Monaco. The reliability of that car has cost them this season because they could very easily have picked up a couple of wins this season. This though is all the results across the season. Everyone's results. You can see how strong we were at the start of the season when we got those five wins in a row. This though is the teammate head-to-heads for the season. So we beat Piastri 12 to 4. It was close between Mercedes ending 9 to 7 in favour of George Russell. Max Verstappen absolutely obliterated Valtteri Bottas beating him 12-4. It was actually 8-8 last season. So Verstappen has found some form this year. It ends 8 apiece for Ferrari, Leclerc and Sainz. Leclerc picking up the only win of the season for Ferrari in Mexico. And then Gasly and Ocon 9 to 7 to Gasly. Even despite the DNFs from the great positions he's had this season. Teo Pacher has absolutely obliterated I'd say Lance Stroll in his rookie season picking up two podiums along the way as well beating Lance Stroll 12-4 in the head-to-heads and it was level as well for McLaren. Lando and Joe both eight apiece. Lando Norris getting two podiums to Joe's one as well. So they don't end so fit a Paldi. 8-7. Alfa Romeo had one of the best cars on the grid as well as Alpine at the start of the season. Slowly getting a podium in the first race. Alfa Tauri and Lawson beats Dennis Halgood 14-2. I'm sure that will make Christian Horner and Helmut Marko very happy. Albon beats Logan Sargent 12-4 as well despite some of the incidences he's had this season. He also got points in Imola when well, he put it on the front row that day but the Williams just wasn't there this season. Similar to Haas as well as Magnussen beats De Vries 11 to 5. Haas being pointless and having a horrible horrible season. That's it though for season 4. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a well awaited 2026 season. We will be back next season for season 5 where we go for 4 titles in a row and hopefully our first Constructors world title as well. I'll see you next season. Goodbye.